I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome to another day in my 2020 beekeeping season, where I take y'all from winter all the way through fall and show you what one year of beekeeping in my operation consists of here in southeast Louisiana. And remember, I'm not posting a how-to video. There's enough of those on YouTube now. This is simply me logging my year in beekeeping. Today I'm on my way to a friend's house. One thing in beekeeping that I found is as I help people begin or as we uh, help others get started, one thing that comes into play is teaching and mentorship. I mean, once you've got a couple years under your belt, you can really help others. Now, this fella here, I helped him get going on bees and we caught a couple swarms together and we got him established in his house. And he's pretty much took it by the reins. But he's a little strapped for time. And uh, we've got some bees really growing down here. And uh, I mean, it's warm. This morning it was 34 at the house. It is 75 degrees right now. So bees are growing. Wildflowers are blooming. It's enough to keep them uh, producing brood. So I thought I'd come over here and give him a hand asking to see if I wanted to help him come look through some hives and he's got a couple that we're going to go look through. So that's all part of the beekeeping season. Helping others and having others help you. And that's one thing I like about the beekeeping community is when I go to my meetings and everything else from the, the, the newest beekeeper to the oldest beekeeper there's plenty to learn and plenty to uh, ideas to, to, to learn from and I mean everybody's got different ways and different ideas and there's so many things. I mean 80% of my operation is based on other people's ideas. The other 20 is based on the absolutes of beekeeping. So it's uh, it's always good and, and the community always comes together. We all help each other. You know, if you're down and need help pulling boxes, you can always count on somebody if you ask them. And uh, so that's what we're going to do today. So that's part of beekeeping. That's part of my year in beekeeping is lending a hand and uh, hopefully teaching something and maybe even learning from his highs and learning from him. Everybody thinks and figures things out, and we can never be too proud and think we have all the ideas and all the answers. No matter how many books you read, and no matter how, how many years experience you have. So let's get on over there. I'm almost to the house now, and uh, let's go through some bees. I'll get back to y'all in just a minute. Alright guys, we made it here. We're at Dirk's house. It's Dirk. Hi. Right. We're going to give Dirk a hand. He's been beekeeping now two years. And we caught these swarms last year. And now what we're going to do is go take a quick look. They ain't been touched in what? Two months? Something two, three like that. Months, yeah. All right, so let's get busy. I'm going to, we're going to open hive and probably reverse these boxes. Yeah. In my last videos, I told everybody I'm not a woodworker. Dirk, on the other hand, is. Well, as you can see, I made... He knows how to do this stuff. stuff out of scrap. Stuff out of scrap. That's why I said in one of my videos. Make it out of scrap. Don't spend the money. That's the way to do it. Uh -oh. thing comes up. That's the way to do it. Ooh, look at that big old thing. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's an old bumblebee. Mm -hmm. Or is that a carbon bee? It might be a carbon bee. Alright. Oh, they got a little high cone up here. Looks like it's all honey up top. Yeah. Well, that's a good sign. Oh yeah, they're up here. This is what I was using for the air gap. Make yep. Sure, make sure you have perfect air flow. Yeah, this is, look at there. This is all what they've done. Looks like, now what we're finding in most of these hives. See, this this right here is all new cone. Oh, yeah, that's all honey. Yep. Look at that. They got plenty of honey, that's for sure. See if there's any brood in the top. That's what I'm looking for. That's all honey too, for the most part. Feel it. Let me get this out of the way. His bees are calm. He's got better bees. Now, this getting one, a little rowdy. This one feels a little lighter. There you go. There. Now we're we got pollen and brood, so we're at the edge of the brood nest. There's the queen right there. Where? Right there. Just, there, yep, there she is, right there. Yep. Point her out. Right there. Oh. So she's in the top box. Yep, and that's where she'll be this time of year because that's where they're putting the brood. I don't have a queen cage with me. 
I, got, I got one. Do you? Yeah. You may have I think I replaced it. There she is. So we're gonna we're gonna sit out. No, she's right here. She's still in there? Yep. Okay. Yep. Right there. Now out. mine got out of the last one. So she's pretty big do. though. Yeah, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's see what she's putting in here. Plenty of honey in here. Ugh. Ooh, a, lot of a lot of brew, just like normal, just like I was saying in Mother Hives. Yes, yes. Yep, drones. Peel all that off or what? We will. We're gonna. Oh, a queen cup too. Yeah, they're full. This is a full hive. You know, this was a little. This was the foot, the football, a very small one. Right. That swarm that we saw. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's take our queen. Hold her like that. I don't want to squeeze it open and let her get out. While you hold that, I'm going to... I already broke it loose. It should be loose. Oh, is it? Yeah. Build up well before normal time. Yeah. Because we really haven't had a real cold winter this year. See, you would think that would be cool. Yeah, but they're just... They just went up instead of sideways. So I want to see as if this bottom is... How empty it is. Pollen and honey. This has got pollen and honey. And I see drone brew, so I think we got two full boxes. See, so what they're doing? Mm -hmm. See the drone brew up top? Mm -hmm. That means they know it's going to be time to move on. It looks good. It looks like it's a pattern. Nice good pattern. They're filling it slap full of brews. So basically, there's drones walking around. There's drone there. There's drone there. We've seen drone brews. Yep. So go drones. So basically, everything is full of brews. And she's laying. So what we have, we got a hive that needs to be split. Nectar away. Where are they getting all this nectar from? Make it all to be split. Oh, the way back there. Oh, I ain't got time to wait. They're heavy. There she goes. There she goes. And down she goes. All right. They look pretty good, huh? They look good, but they are uh, they're in need of being split. You got your stick. I'll put it on the top. Right here. Right here. Well, and that wraps up that one. All right, what you got here? They got honey packed all the way to the outside on this one. This one had a lot of honey in it though in the soup, in the deep. Yeah, that's all honey. Oh, 
All right, throw some smoke to these. Let's take a look. I like this. See, there's a mite right there. Mm -hmm. okay. One. Mm -hmm. I treated these for mites. Yeah. That's all one. That's it. That's good. Now this hot mouth, this one on the other hand, let's see what we got here. That's yeah, all empty. Yep. It's pollen. It's right at the edge of the brood nest when you got pollen. That's all pollen. This hive had a lot of pollen in it. The top of the it too. Let's see, there's a brood. Yep. She ought to be somewhere around here. Yep, there's fresh larvae. And she's not got a beautiful pattern. That's, that's one of the best looking. Well, no, she's filling that one solid. And what they'll do is sometimes fill it solid, and then they'll go back through and pull out bad ones. And that's a sign of an inferior queen. But there's solid larvae in that. Solid larvae. I don't see the queen. Now, this next one's full of brood. So. Basically, what you have. See now, they they probably emerged from that center so far. Cause it's empty. Look for her real quick. The question is, is she back there? So what I like to do when I see that, I like to take my light and sit like that. I like to take my light on magnifying glass and see if she's back there. There she is. Well, I say that, you just saw a couple of eggs. So that's all eggs and larvae. I don't know if you can see them. Use the light yourself. Yeah, she's got, she's got lit. Well, it's she, hit and miss. It is, it's hit and miss. It's not the best uh, egg pattern. And that's why I said in one of my other videos, I like to look and see how many eggs are next to each other, how she's filling it. Yeah, but we don't know when these are going to submerge, huh? But there's also a small larvae see, in there. See, there is. Yeah, you've got to hold the light back. You right. You see the larvae better. So she's backfilling, but we just don't know how great her pattern is. She's going to have to be kept an eye on. But we're not seeing any. I'm going to pick up that other box in a minute. Child. Yeah, that's all drone brood. That's all drone brood. This hive, I've said it a hundred times. It's all full of larvae. Last few videos, I said over and over, this looks like March. Full of drone brood. That's all drone brood right there. cups as well. That's a pretty good pattern. Isn't That's it? a good pattern. We haven't seen her. Though. Nope. She's in here. We got eggs. Yeah, that's a, that's pretty solid. Yeah, I, I, I don't have a bad habit of stirring them up. I don't I don't ease through them. So basically what you're telling me is I'm about to have four hives. Right, he's about to have four hives, or he's about to have two hives and two hives for sale. Basically what we have is we have two full hives that look like it's March and it's only February 2nd and we have cold snaps ahead of us. So now we've got to figure out what we're going to do and he's in the same boat as me. We've got to either split, give space, do something. Alright guys, we're back. We wrapped it up over there, Dirks. And uh, man, his bees 
same as mine. And as you saw, there were plenty of drones, plenty of bees, plenty of honey, plenty of brood, plenty of larvae, plenty of eggs. The queens are healthy, all is well. All is well except for the fact we are at least a month, a month and a half ahead of the game here. So that kind of leaves us in a little bit of a dilemma. I say a dilemma, the bees know what they're doing. So that, that makes me think, do the bees, can we go by what they're showing us to know that the main cold is over? I mean, in Louisiana, really, we only have one month left where it comes anyway. But are they, are they telling us that? I've never tracked my bees and logged their activities through the winter. I normally reverse boxes and move on. So it makes me wonder, can we go by what they're doing and say, hey, they know the weather. I know they know the weather. As I understand it, once the winter solstice hits, the queen, and this is debatable between people, but this is what I've, I've read in a few places, but the queen knows uh, it's the days are shorter. She can begin to lay uh, slowly, normally in the winter, like in January around here, we'll get small brood patterns, small patches of it, but nothing like we're getting now. I can't recall in my head any trends of whether or not we whether or not we've seen shorter winters or longer winters based on the brood. I just don't remember. This year I'll know the log is. So that brings us to the point of strategically trying to split these things because of the cold. When you split them, you split nurse bees. Do they have enough to keep warm? Well, that's where I do my vertical splits and they share heat through a divider, a double screen divider. That will be a benefit, but it still needs to be strategic because I'm gonna be lacking a few bees in the top once I split it. So it's gotta be pretty strategic. Now when I say strategically split them, here's the issue is we normally split them and there's a, a good nectar flow right around the corner. So there's, you know, they, they've got everything they need to continue on. And we're not sure what the nectar flow is right now. Red maples are blooming, but what else is going to bloom? We know the previous not going to bloom yet. Maybe it'll bloom early. I don't know. So those are the questions we have about splitting. Well, I've just never had to split this early. Do we have enough drones in the drone congregation areas? Uh, most likely we do because if you think about it, the wild hives are doing the same thing. So the drones are out with them and nobody's going to, nobody's going to, uh, you know, uh, split those. Nobody's manipulating those. So all those things play into what, what I'm thinking, but you know in the end the bees know what they're doing. Now, another point to make is uh, if, if we don't split them, they're going to split themselves through swarming. So one way or another they're splitting. So I guess what I don't want to do is I don't want to split them sooner than they're ready. But I don't want them to split when they're ready on their own because then that's a swarm and I lose those bees. So it's kind of what do you do? So this year we're going to do some early splits, double screen dividers. If things start going awry, we put them back together. And honestly, the worst thing that can happen really is if we split them early and we get a really cold snap and they can't warm all the brood, we'll have what's called chilled brood and that's not the end of the world. We lose brood, it sets the hive back some, but they'll keep the queen warm and it'll work out. So. I'm going to think about what we got to do. I'm going to help Dirk get his situated. He's got some more equipment to build. Uh, outside of that, uh, his bees look good. They, they look really good. So he should have a good year this year, provided everything goes normal. And uh, we'll go from there. And remember, not a how-to video. It's not what I designed it to be because there are plenty of those out there. But if you did pick up any tips and tricks, hey, that's great news. And if, if you have any tips and tricks to pass on to me, Leave me a comment. Let me know. Guys, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share it with your friends and any other beekeepers you may know. Alright guys, well this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a great day, and God bless y'all.